So, what happens when you get different pieces of the apple and you try to group them together? So in this case, we've got an apple or a beet. We've sliced it down the middle. So we've got half on the left-hand side, we've got a full quaver, half an apple. But then we've grabbed the other half and sliced it. So now we've got two uh, quarters or two semi-briefs. So effectively, we have a um, quaver followed by two semi-briefs. When we draw, when we write this or when we count this, it would look like this. And we have one E and R. I'll count that again. One E and R. And for the purposes of uh, illustrating it here, I'm starting the count on beat number one, but if the this group of um, notes was on beat number two, then you'd say two E and R, or if it was on three, you'd go three E and R, and so on. So we've got a quaver, single quaver with one flag, and we've got two semi-quavers with two flags. Now the problem that we have is that if we just draw a line to group all of them, then the one line represents that it's a quaver, but we've got some semi-quavers. So if we draw a line to over the top of both of them and beam them together with two lines, then they all turn into semi-quavers. So the way that we write this musically is that we use one beam for the part where it belongs to the quaver, and we use two beams for the two notes that belong to the semi-quavers. So again, the counting for this one is one E and R. Now, if we swap this around and we get the two semi-quavers and put them first, and then you put the single quaver at the end, you get this rhythmic grouping. So we've got the two semi-quavers, then the quaver. When we write this just using the notes without any beams, it looks like this. We've got one E and R. I'll count that again. One E and R. And if we were gonna group these together, we would again need to have the two um, beams for the first one, for the first one and the second one, and then the last uh, note there, the last quaver, would just have a single beam. So let's try putting all of this together. Over here, we've got a group of four semi-quavers. So each of them have the two beams across the top. Then we have one quaver followed by two semi-quavers. And then we had the example that we just had a moment ago, which is two semi-quavers followed by one quaver, and then to finish off, we're gonna put in a crotchet. To count all of that, it goes like this. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. So let's try this together, ready? Three and four, go. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. So, we can start to combine different rhythmic groupings together to be able to get this effect. 